27th and when's the 21st, boys? Okay. He's ready. That's good. There it is. That's the face of a champion. There it is. Pringles. Delicious. That's a champion snack. <laughs> okay. Well, look at that. You just hit 60. Wow. Are you ready for endgame? Yeah, but what should I do first? Yeah. Great question. First off, congrats on hitting 60. There are lots of things you can do in your life, and you chose the waste days of it by playing Classic WoW. Hey. I applaud you for that. There it is, but end dude. game is a whole different beast from leveling okay. because it's a lot more focused on community aspects of the game. While you're leveling, you can play solo pretty much all the way, but good luck yeah. getting anywhere by yourself at end game. <laughs> <laughs> they did do a lot of damage. So let's go over some tips on the first things you should do after hitting 60 right. to progress on your adventure. All right. Number one is attunement quests. Okay. Molten Core, Blackwing Lair, and Anixius Lair all require attunement quests in order to enter. Molten yep. Core is easy. All you gotta do is just click on a stone you thing literally in click on a rock, and that's but it. But the Onyxia quest chain is well known for oh, being this geez. long, drawn-out quest oh, chain that geez. requires you to invest a lot of time. Oh, fuck, But these man. should be something you should have on your that's radar be so because annoying. you don't want to be the one guy in raid that didn't get attuned. Guys? You also might want to look into getting some idiot. keys for dungeons. What a Specific dumb fucking idiot. Stratholme, Skolomance, Blackrock Depths, yep. and Upper Blackrock Spire. These doors can be opened by a pick-locking rogue, I'm gonna have but all if the you keys. don't have one, being I'll the be one the guy master. in your group that has the key will not only make them love you, but also secure your spot in the party. Yep. To get these keys, you gotta do some quests or yep. kill certain bosses, and if you want a more in-depth look on how to get these Dungeon keys, keys? Yeah, we're gonna you can check out a video by my classic WoW.live friends, Def Camp and Melderon. The link will be in the description. While you are doing these dungeons, okay. you can also start gathering up some gear. And this is where you need your boys to there start farming that pre-raid best in slot. Your boys. What up? Are you seriously getting your pre-raid best in slot? By yourself? Nah, I'm with my no! boys! Pre-raid best in slot are the best there in slot is, items dude. you can get without jumping into hey. a raid. You can find hey, lists of good. these items that online, good. but not all of your best in slot items are going to come from dungeons. Some parts come from quests, like In Dreams, which is a difficult quest okay. from Western Plaguelands. Yep. Put your faith in the light, and all is possible. <laughs> Crafted items are something That's what you want to get your Legion. hands on, too. The Devil Source set, the Lionheart Helm, yep. and the Black Dragon shoulders, and a whole ton of more items are going to be expensive items that you can't make yourself, and you'll need to find someone that will make it for you. That's and me. you That's need me. to find an enchanter to enchant that gear, which isn't cheap either. That's, somebody That's why else. when you hit 60, you should also try and find a steady income of gold. Getting lots of gold can Thank be done by advance, farming guys. mobs that drop valuable loot. <laughs> but another route boxes. people go is professions. You can sell those highly sought after items people look for, yep. or you could just Dude, make that it for yourself. Dude, that helmet is so fucking In good. order to craft some of these highly sought the after ridiculous. items, you need to find the recipes too, so that's going to be a big part of making yep. money in the first place. Yep. Typically, these recipes are really rare or really, really expensive. Cooking and fishing are also sleeper hits that you shouldn't ignore. Personally, as a healer come classic, I'll probably be fishing my butt off as my source of income, since I can't really kill mobs that well. Zora, I was destined to rule. No force can bind me. Wait, what? I thought this I was classic. Know who you are, rude little bitch. <laughs> Gathering professions are also a great way to make some money, especially in the nice. early game. Being the guy that sells all the Devilosaur leather, yep. thorium ore, That's me. or black lotus will net you some good money. Yep. Snooze, you lose. Fucking See you idiot. Later, idiot. There it is. Fuck you say to me, you little shit! <laughs> how are you how are you not in fucking school? <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, wait. Where'd he go? Wait up! Hold on, wait! 
Wait, I'm coming! <laughs> Getting your epic mount should oh also God, be something dude. you should think about. Okay, dude. This is another reason why you should find a source of gold. Yep. It costs a thousand gold to get an epic mount, which is a lot in Classic WoW, so it's not cheap. But the bonuses of having an epic mount How is am I great do for that, a man? PvP server. How you can am I catch up to that? enemy players or easily run away since you're 40% faster. That's gonna be faster. such a cock. In Battlegrounds, it's also a huge advantage against the enemy if they're still on a slow Maybe mount. Maybe I should just roll Also, wall. as much as I love Classic WoW and I'll sing its praise from the rooftops, yep. like, 60% of the gameplay is, uh... You're... That's where I read donations. See, this is why I'm reading donations. Yo, what up, boys? Yeah, so if you can speed up this time... Like, it's actually like Classic WoW is the best fucking streaming game in the whole world. Like, half of the time you're AFK, the only thing that really matters in the game is time investment, and you have all the time in the world to read donations, interact with chat. Like, it's the same as usual, right? And, uh, like, I... Like, WoW is unironically a great game for streaming. It's basically just chatting with a video game flair to it. You know, you've got a little fantasy flair. It's like, oh, just chatting, but there's a dragon. Just chatting, but oh, we just got a sword. Ooh, you know, a little exciting there. But for the most part, yeah, WoW is the greatest streaming game. You spend half the time AFK just reading chat. It's fucking perfect. ...able to do a lot more things in a shorter amount of time. Lastly, you can travel around Azeroth and get all of those useful items you might have missed. Yep. Classic is very unique to other versions of the game because items and trinkets play a really big role in combat, especially in a PvP. Big role. The nifty stopwatch, the tidal charm, the Lufa, and a thousand other items all are super helpful to have in PvP situations. I'm gonna and have you to get every single one of those, to gather a good I'm amount get every of them. If you're one. interested more about these items, I'm just gonna leave a link in the description. Yep. These items are great DK, for PvP, for subs, but man. if you want the them to be useful, uh, you gotta be good at PvP, yeah. so keep that in mind. <laughs> you think you can stop me? Yeah, Not when I have 15 items zero. that I have no idea how to use effectively. Yep. <laughs> use your Lufa. Okay, so yeah, there what you go. What you do when you hit 60? You should get those attunements and that best in slot gear so you can tackle some dungeons. Okay. Get a good cash flow and a beautiful white stallion. And consider collecting all of those little gadgets around Azeroth so you can be a master of PvP. There's a lot to do at Endgame, so take it all in, have some fun, and don't forget to get those Professor Plums. <laughs> That's what really matters. The, uh, the perfect oh, boys hey. are what really matters. Thanks for watching my video. Classic is almost out. Yep. And I'm literally yep. shaking with excitement. Yep. I'm also shaking with thankfulness because of my patrons like B. Cohen, Astio, McSpazitron, Milwaukee, June Laster, Caleb Big and Lagging Balls, Happy Tron, Half Finnis, Gurkha Blue Moon. This guy deserves more subs. He deserves more likes. These videos are very well put together. He puts a lot of work and time into them, so I'm going to go ahead and link his video down below. Okay, there you guys go. Uh, let's see. Uh, my effort you put into the jokes gets... Yeah, it's funny, man. It's great. The ninja laugh is stuck in my head now. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful, man. Uh, I, I love it. The hype is real here. Himara video. All right, we'll, we'll watch the Himara video now.